today we will be releasing a slightly shorter episode. Um, we will be talking about a paper recently published in the World Journal of Surgery entitled Trends in Appendicitis Amongst Pregnant Women, the Risk of Cardiac Arrest and Maternal Fetal Mortality. Uh, we'll have no teaching session uh, for this episode, uh, we'll uh, compensate the next time. Stay tuned for more! Hi, good evening everyone. My name is Marwa. I'm one of the core trainees currently in Doncaster and I'm presenting tonight with Gio. So the article that we've got for you is called Trends in Appendicitis Among Pregnant Women and the Risk of Cardiac Arrest and Maternal Fetal Mortality. It's an article very hot off the press. It's less than a month old um, from the World, of, the World Journal of Surgery um, and is an article done by American uh, medics. So, Gia, would you like to elaborate why we chose this article? Yeah, so uh, we thought uh, this was quite an interesting topic. We know appendicitis is a very common problem uh, in pregnancy, um, and we know that it does pose quite a few challenges to the uh, average general surgeon. Uh, um, there's, first of all, some biochemical issues, such as the normal physiological uh, leukocytosis that you observe in pregnancy, why health is always a bit high. Uh, the physical findings are significantly altered uh, as uh, pregnancy progresses. Uh, appendix moves up and up and up uh, throughout the abdomen, so it becomes more difficult uh, for us to have reliable physical findings. CT, at least in the UK, is not commonly used in pregnancy. And finally, when we go and counsel our patients with suspected appendicitis, is quite difficult to give them accurate numbers in terms of risk of conservative treatment versus operative treatment and what potentially could happen to the fetus. So yeah, very relevant topic. Uh, Bob, back to you, Marwa. So this article set out um, with two main aims. One of them was just to look at the scale of the problem and assess the incidence of appendicitis. So they set out to measure the change in trends of appendicitis um, amongst pregnant women. And they took a period between 2002 to 2015, so a 14-year period. And the second thing that they were going to look at is then when this appendicitis occurs, what happens to these women? So they defined their risks as mortality and what they called near miss, which they defined as a cardiac arrest. And mortality was both for the mother and the fetus. And they compared this to healthy pregnancies. So we're looking at these two aims, Gio, how would you put them in a PICO? Well, yeah, uh, our patient population would be pregnant women uh, with appendicitis. Uh, there is no real intervention here. This is a cross-sectional uh, study. Um, in terms of comparison, depending on the outcome, they compare their data with the general population um, of healthy pregnant women or pregnant women with appendicitis. And sometimes they use sub subgroup for um, a specific analysis on uh, ethnic groups. Uh, our outcomes would be, well, the overall um, incidence of appendicitis, um, death, uh, maternal death and neonatal death, uh, and uh, uh, near miss, such as cardiac arrest, as you mentioned. So, ball back to you, Marwa. So, the, this study was a very large retrospective cross-sectional study um, done on a patient population looked at between January 2002 and December 2015. And the sample that they took um, was from something called the Nationwide Inpatient Sample Database, the NIS, which is an American database. Um, and it's a database containing discharges. So it's basically just ICD codes um, on discharges from over a thousand hospitals in 42 states with quite a good mix of types, both when it comes to sizes, so um, small hospitals versus large, academic versus rural, etc., but also the way they're funded, so from state-funded to private hospitals. So the mix should approximately represent more than 90% of American hospitals and therefore kind of represent the general American population. Um, and the database itself only contains ICD codes. Gia, would you like to explain which ones they've used? Yeah, so they used three general codes associated with the diagnosis of acute appendicitis. Um, and they used also procedural code associated with the intervention to the appendix. But these are not 
um, exclusively selected, which means that uh, they do include patients with appendicitis that did not have an intervention. Um, they do also split this group into two, uh, acute appendicitis, which includes all the ICD-9 codes that relate to an actual acute event, uh, and appendicitis, which relates to events that are less acute, such as an appendiceal abscess, such as an appendiceal fistula, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, they also look at ICD codes for neonatal and maternal outcomes, uh, such as fetal loss, cardiac arrest, and obviously uh, inpatient death. Uh, so, ball back to you, Marwa. So, their first aim to look at the prevalence, they looked at the rate of appendicitis and just calculated every occurrence, and then used joint point regression to estimate the annual rate. And they then looked at these annual rates to look at the rate changes over this period. For their second aim, Gio? Yeah, so they used, um, they set out to calculate prevalence of specific outcomes, such as maternal death, fetal loss, and cardiac arrest in pregnant women. And they also look at subgroups, such as Hispanic women, black and non-Hispanic white women, which are the three most commonly represented groups um, in their cohort. They build um, logistic regression models to uh, estimate the association of certain factors uh, with uh, these outcomes, such as, again, maternal death, fetal loss, and cardiac arrest. And again, I cannot stress out enough how they, they set themselves out to calculate prevalence, which is in line with what you would expect in a cross-section of study. Um, so uh, back to you, Marwa. So these are then the results that they got. So the years that they set out to look at, they've been able to identify over 63,000 hospitalizations. Also here, I have to stress that they're talking about hospitalizations and not pregnancies or patients. Um, so these 63,000 um, hospitalizations represent about 10 in every 10,000 pregnancy-related hospitalizations. Um, and they somehow seem to be, or well, not somehow, it's quite expectedly, um, the younger population. So 88% of patients was between 15 to 34 years old. The maternal death rate that they then report in the text comes up to 0.1%, um, which represents 52 of every 10,000 women dying during pregnancy. They also mentioned that this cohort of 63,000 women had 96.3 of them routinely discharged, which I'm interpreting as no complications. Am I right to do that, Gio? Well, um, possibly, yes. It's uh, not overly clear in the text, and it seems to be an oddly high number of uncomplicated admissions with appendicitis. Um, bearing in mind here that they include uh, everyone with a potential level of appendicitis, not just people that were operated on. There's a further number here that I would like to highlight, that 0.1%, uh, just to put it into context, the general um, maternal death rate in the UK would be around 0.17 per thousand. So definitely it is higher in this subgroup, uh, at least compared to what we expect in the UK. Um, so, uh, moving forward, uh, they, uh, as we mentioned, looked at uh, the uh, prevalence of appendicitis in time. And as you can see in the chart on the right, they definitely recorded a significant reduction of appendicitis uh, in time between 2002 and 2014, with a steep change in the curve at uh, 2011, uh, where they uh, observed a reduction of 10.6%. Um, they don't really specify how this is uh, possible on, on how to interpret the data. Um, one significant point I want to make personally is that if you look at the use of CT in pregnancy in the state, you can almost observe an inverse curve here. So between 2002 and 2015, the use of CT in pregnancy increased very steeply, almost to fourfold. Uh, so that might explain uh, partially how um, the decline in uh, reported incidents happen. Um, so, sorry, prevalence. Uh, ball back to you, Marwa. And now comes what we've all been looking forward to. What happens to women who are pregnant and have appendicitis? So one thing that we have to mention is that 
they set out to calculate prevalence and they were looking at a cross-sectional study, and, but then they end up reporting incidences. So when looking at this, one of the things they mentioned is earlier they had said 0.1% and here they mentioned 0.5%. Personally, this might be the more correct number, not necessarily the modality or the right term for it, but it might be more of the correct number because if you look at all the other subgroups, the percentages reported realistically can't be 0.1%. So it could be that the maternal death rate is actually 0.5%. The other thing that's interesting is that the adverse outcomes in Hispanic patients were significantly higher, especially when you realize that the odds ratio that they used was comparing them to Hispanic pregnant women and not necessarily all pregnant women. So the risk that normally is associated with the ethnicity is even more increased when you've also got appendicitis. So as you could probably hear from our tone sometimes, we found this study to have quite significant limitations. Um, some of them were already self-reported. The ones that they mention are the possible errors of the um, database they used. But with such a large database, you would hope that overestimations on one side would be balanced by underestimations on another side, etc. So that that should balance out. More significant uh, limitations are that there's very little information on the circumstances around the adverse outcomes. So when women die or when the fetus um, dies or when everything happens, what were the leading circumstances? We don't know anything except that it occurred, but we don't know when, what, or how. We also don't know what percentage of these patients was treated medically and what percentage surgically. So we don't have much of the information except they had appendicitis and they had an adverse outcome. So there's also quite a lot of limitations that we together identified that Gio will elaborate on. Yeah, so uh, I personally found that uh, uh, using coding alone um, for selected patients in this case is quite limiting, and I think I highlighted that as I was presenting their methodology. Um, we overall found the outcome reporting a little bit confusing. I've been through this paper five times, um, and I couldn't really understand how they set themselves out to calculate prevalence and then ended up reporting incidents both in the table and in the text a couple of times, uh, when I don't think objectively with a cross-sectional design, they have the numbers to calculate incidents. They also don't report a unit of time in their incidents uh, as well. Um, we have no idea on how many of these patients who actually had an operation uh, or any data about the histology, obviously, which would be the gold standard to diagnose appendicitis. Data, as Marwa mentioned, is per hospitalization and not per pregnancy. So. If uh, a pregnant woman uh, does attend hospital with appendicitis, gets treated with antibiotics, then comes back into hospital with a recurrence of her appendicitis, that is counted as two hospitalizations. Uh, same goes uh, for a patient, in theory, that have an operation uh, and then does develop a complication of that operation, such as an abscess, and comes back into hospital. Uh, so it's not really clear how they screen that out. Um, the complication rate, as we mentioned, is a little bit low if um, it is to be interpreted in the way that we interpreted it, obviously. Um, so 3.7% is a bit low. Um, and overall, we didn't think that the external validity of this study uh, was particularly significant. So the data that came out of this, I wouldn't feel overly confident in using when counseling a pregnant lady potentially suffering from appendicitis. Um, so, um, Paul, back to you, Marwa. So the two main conclusions from this article uh, are that the incidence of appendicitis has declined or the diagnosis of appendicitis has declined amongst pregnant women, um, about 5% per year with a very steep decline after 2011. And the maternal death um, prevalence, we would assume, is 0 0.5 and the fetal mortality is 0 0.2 with an increase in Hispanic women. 
So as we mentioned before, there's quite a few limitations to this study, which we've set out in this table. Um, and although um, this would have been quite a good subject and quite interesting, especially being confronted with pregnant women as general surgery trainees, um, but unfortunately, we're not much wiser, and I don't know how much I would change my consenting or counselling. Um, so we look forward to what your opinions and experiences are. And yeah, if you've got any questions, we look forward to hearing them. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and listening. Until next time, keep running your life with our surgical podcast.